Mark Latham of uh, Mark Latham's Outsiders on Rebel Media, who's uh, been kind enough to appear on uh, this uh, channel uh, tw twice before on the on the Unshackled, is being sued in the federal court uh, this week by uh, one of the writers at the uh, leftist rag a junkie, Osman Faruqi, uh, because uh, Mark Latham on an episode of his show uh, highlighted uh, Faruqi's uh, anti-white. Uh, tweets and accused him of being an anti-white uh, racist. Um, but uh, looking at this, uh, f uh, what's been said in uh, court this week, the, uh, f what is also part of Faruqi's claim is that Latham accused him of supporting uh, terrorism, which I think Latham was being hyperbolic when he uh, called Faruqi's uh, words terrorism. I think that he he was just exaggerating there. But you know, Faruqi has you know decided to take the most uh, offended. Uh, a course of action here, and so that's why this matter is uh, before the courts. Now, Mark Latham claims that this is simply uh, lawfare, as it's known, designed to uh, destroy his media platform. He's been running a uh, uh, donation campaign, standwithlatham.com, uh, which I don't mind giving a plug uh, here here on the uh, Unshackled, and it's, it once again proves how you know the, the left... Uh, you know, do not like free speech, and you know if they can find a way to shut down their critics, they will. Uh, it's uh, yeah. We uh, this this year again. Uh, uh, John Anderson again on Sky News today was speaking of. I wrote an article about this on the Unshackled as well. Our need for a bill of rights because if Latham. Uh, as a as a commentator, as a political commentator, as a public figure, um, doesn't have the right to free speech. Then what makes uh, you think, uh, as a citizen, that uh, you have the right? Because you could easily be uh, a victim of lawfare just as much as Mark Latham would be. And I think that free speech is imperative. Uh, they want, uh, I believe, uh, his uh, senior counsel wants to permanently suppress, uh, you know, Latham, and uh, that, that's, that was uh, in the Oz today. That, that's the idea of this, not only to make him broke, uh, but not to give him a voice uh, in the public sphere. And it just shows you, really, it just shows one that uh, the arguments of the left, the arguments of uh, you know, a, a junk, a junk website like Junkie, um, are so weak, are so pathetic that they have to take a man like Mark Latham to court. They can't beat him in the John Stuart Mill free market of ideas, but instead they take this man to court um, to es essentially uh, financially bleed him. Uh, but uh, they're happy to do that because. Let's be frank, they don't have the ideas, they don't have the facts, and um, they, they don't have the way of support that Mark Latham does. Um, so I view this as a disgusting and an egregious attack on free speech, and I think that it is our role uh, in a society to stand up for any man and any woman's, uh, woman's uh, right to freedom of speech because it is an imperative pillar of uh, our civil society. Well, if you look at Faruqi's you know, Twitter account, he definitely takes glee in uh, when, you know, what he views as, you know, bad things happening to white people. He's tweeted like, uh, you know, I deliberately don't, you know, hold the door open for, uh, you know, white people. Like, like, it's really like if you replace like white with, you know, something else, then, you know, people would conclude you're, you know, you're being racist. Yes, well, imagine if uh, I said that um, in the train, for instance, uh, I don't like standing, uh, I, I, you know, I wouldn't give up my seat for, you know, uh, you know, a black lady with her baby. How awful does that sound? How, you know, what kind of statement, you know, does that make? How, how does that reflect, you know, one's humanity? It, it is the exact same uh, for, you know, the editor of Junkie to say that he wouldn't hold the door. It's just basic civility. It's basic manners. And everyone 
No matter if their skin colour, their creed, their race or their sexuality deserves, you know, some kind of human decency. Um, and this whole uh, doctrine of intersectionality, identity politics, you know, makes the white man out to be the enemy. Um, but I view this is very, very, very similar to what happened in, say, Germany in the 1930s or 40s. And now I don't use this uh, lightly, but the, the rampant anti-Semitism uh, that existed throughout Europe, especially Germany during this period, were the Jews. The Jews uh, were banned, uh, well, so essentially, uh, sorry, not banned, but were uh, lambasted, uh, you know, over their apparent, uh, you know, involvement in everything. Uh, they were blamed for everything. Uh, the reason why the German wasn't going well in the 1930s and 40s was because of the Jew. Now, I view this as very similar. The radical intersectional left says that their failure, uh, you know, to get off the couch and get a job is because of the white man holding them back. Now, this, this is disgusting. This is terrible. And quite frankly, I view it as racist. And I don't like to throw that word around because the left calls anyone a racist who has facts on their side. But quite frankly, I view this as a racist attack. And Mark Latham was right to point it out on his show. And he has the right to point it out on his show. And his free speech should be a right that is protected by a Bill of Rights. And this is a major, major hole you know, in our freedoms as a, society, as, a, as a society, that we don't have a Bill of Rights. And it just goes to show through this Mark Latham case. And uh, journalists who uh, have, you know, different uh, political positions, I mean, they have, you know, back and forth between each other all the time. Like, if you just follow, you know, Andrew Bolt's blog, for example, like he, you know, comments, you know, this journalist said this, how ridiculous it was. Like, imagine if, you know, every, you know, journalist who, you know, was attacked by another journalist, you know, took them to court, our, you know, courts would be, you know, clogged up. And um, it's, it's also worth noting that, you know, Faruqi, his uh, case is being uh, backed up by the labor-aligned uh, law firm, uh, Marie uh, Blackburn. Uh, so yeah, this, this is, you know, not what we want, not just for free speech, but for a pre free press where, you know, we want, you know, people's ideas to be, uh, you know, critiqued and, you know, have, 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 have people scrutinised. So, Tim, um, Faruqi's quote, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but he was taking joy in white people being killed in a terrorist attack. Is that correct? Um, I'm not aware of that exact um, uh, statement. Uh, you might be aware of that. Well, uh, that's, I think, roughly what I read in The Australian. He was taking joy in white people being killed. Um, and then um, Yasmin abdul uh tweets back, at Faruqi and saying, ha ha, you know, uh, roughly, uh, you know, they, um, they're getting what they deserve or they should go home or something along those lines. And this is open. This is in the public sphere. Uh, uh, that wasn't verbatim, but, but certainly that this is disgusting. This is discriminatory. Um, it shouldn't be tolerated. Uh, their racism, their anti-white racism, but I don't think they should be taken to court. And I find it ironic that they are the ones taking Mark Latham to court, the ones that called them out for being racist, for being a vile and disgusting racist. And then they're being taken to, and then they're taking Mark Latham to court over it. Now, I praise God that uh, Mark Latham has got Tony Morris QC on his side. Uh, Tony Morris QC is a fantastic man uh, who has been working hard, very, very hard, um, uh, to preserve free speech in this country, along with the Calum Thwaites case. So they may have uh, a, a Morris Blackburn, but we have uh, Tony Morris QC on our side, and he is certainly a man with a vast moral conscience, uh, with a spine of steel. And I certainly think that Mark Latham uh, has got a good chance here. And free speech is on trial here. And Mark Latham's, uh, this is essentially, I view this as a test case for, 
for free speech in our nation and it deserves, you know, a great deal of, um, of, of you know, looking into here because we can't afford to let our freedom slide. You know, we can't, you know, and the courts have got so much more important things to deal with than dealing with petty squabbles between journalists. This shouldn't be going to court. This should be thrown out. And uh, Mark Latham should not be exposed to this vile uh, witch hunt that is uh, taking place. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.